Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. In today's video, we're going to go over four ways to use ChatGPT to make CNC designs. I've got two prompts where we're going to be making bitmaps and CNC vectors, and then we have two prompts that we're going to be making CNC reliefs. I'm going to put all of these prompts in the description below so you can easily copy them. Prompt number one is vector creation from text. The prompt reads, create a bold black and white vector style line drawing of insert our subject here designed for CNC carving or laser engraving. The image should be high contrast with clean distinct lines with no gradients or shading emphasizing strong silhouettes. Clear separation between features and minimal interior details that preserve recognized structures. Show the generated image first and then fully vectorize the entire image, not just the outline, into an SVG file including all interior shapes. Provide the image and a download link for the complete SVG vector trace. Now what this prompt's going to do is it's going to create whatever we insert into the subject matter and it's going to both give us a bitmap to see what we've created and it's also going to create a vector of the that bitmap. For this example, we're just going to change our insert subject and we're going to try a skull and roses. And you can see that it's created two different versions of the skull and roses. And now it's also created a vector or SVG file for us to download. We can either click on these and download the bitmap itself or we can download our SVG file. If we go over to our software and we're using Carve co maker and let's first import our SVG. Now it created just the outline of that vector trace. Now I've run into this error before where it just creates a vector outline. Sometimes you have to go back and tell ChatGPT that it's made a mistake. The vector trace is just showing the outline. Please include all of the image in the vector trace. Let's try that again. Here we go. And now we have our vector traced SVG file. Another way that we could have done that is we could have imported the bitmap that we created. So we could have just brought in our skull and roses and then used our bitmap to vector tool to do a vector trace. This is one of the powerful features of Carveco Maker is being able to create a perfect vector trace of your vectors. Our second prompt is how to create a vector image from a photograph. The prompt reads, create a precise black and white technical line drawing of the subject in the attached photo. Do not trace the photo. Use the image only as a visual reference and reproduce the subject manually with clean lines, correct structure, and accurate perspective. The entire subject must fit fully within the frame. No cropping of the edges or parts. Zoom out is needed to include all visible detail. The drawing should use bold, clean, consistent line work. Avoid sketchy or artistic styles. Preserve the orientation and viewpoint shown in the photo. Include structural and visual details accurately, but without replicating shadows, distortion, or noise from the original image. Where applicable, preserve the readable labels, logos, or texts visible in the reference. If the subject has symmetrical or repeating elements, ensure that they are evenly shaped in the line. The goal is a visually clean, corrected technical reproduction, not a traced or stylized version. For this example, we're just going to pick this lion. Okay, and now you can see that it's created our reproduction of our line. We've got two different versions and they look very similar and very close to our reference model. Now the beauty of this is this is a very clean bitmap image so we could easily download and import this into our software and again do a bitmap to vector trace and create a clean line vectorization of this lion. The real trick to getting this to work is the idea that we're not doing a trace of the photo but we're actually actually doing a recreation of the photo. And this tells ChatGPT not to use a trace of the image where you can get a lot of noise and background. This produces a much cleaner, much easier image to work with. Our third prompt is for making STL models. Now this is going to be creating sort of a bitmap that's going to be able to be imported as a relief model. The prompt reads a high contrast black and white base relief style image of subject matter with intense overhead lighting to create bright highlights on raised surfaces and deep shadows in recessed areas. The subject should be isolated with no background, no text, and no outlines. The shading should simulate sculpted depth using smooth grayscale transition. Use medium brightness for overall lighting designed for use as a reference texture image for generating a CNC base relief height map. Now we're just going to change our subject matter here and we're going to use the skull and roses again as our subject matter. And just remember guys that we're putting all of these prompts in the description of the video below. Okay, and now you can see it's created a very stylized, two different versions of our Skull and Roses. Now, if we were to download this photograph of the Skull and Roses, and then in order to use this in Carveco Maker, we would basically go to Relief and Import, and we can just import that photo as a relief. Now, it always comes in super large because it's always the pixel size, so we'd want to move this down to the size of our 
material. We're using a 10 inch piece of material. So I would apply that. Now it's usually way off of the material. We want to center it and F9 quickly moves that project to the very center of our material. Now we also need to set our height and you can see that right now it looks pretty noisy. And so what we would want to do is bring that down to where a lot of the noise starts to blend together. And when we paste this down, we're going to get a very nice skull and roses. And what we can do is use our smooth relief. And if we smooth this all the way down, we start to get a much better looking skull and roses. Now we probably went a little too far there. And this is a quick way to get a texturized or texture for your skull and roses. Now the next prompt is going to make this a little bit better. Our last prompt is going to create a height map of a particular photograph. So the prompt reads, use the attached image and convert it into a height map. Ensure that the subject is isolated with no background. Brighter areas should be interpreted as raised, darker areas as recessed. This height map will be used to generate a CNC ready STL based relief model. So I'm going to just going to add that skull and roses picture that we just generated. And we're going to create a height map of this skull and roses. Now it created a grayscale height map that we could use where the eyes have the white and the skull is dark. I'll show you in just a minute what we're going to use this for. Our original photo was very dark and one thing we can do is get ChatGPT to brighten that up. The prompt that I'm going to use here is can you increase the brightness to the skull and roses and make those surfaces much brighter. So I'm just simply asking it to increase the brightness. And this really brightened out skull will actually give us a much better relief inside Carve Cove Maker. Let's go to Relief, Import, and pick this really bright one. Make sure our sizes are correct. And let's center it with our F9. And let's make it a quarter of an inch high. The skull and flowers came out very nice. And with a little smoothing, we can make this even a little better. As a quick tip, I would also tell you that you can use the Microsoft Photo Editor, which I'm using here. It has a new background removal tool, which you can remove your background, and that would remove all of the background. You also can replace it with a color. So if I wanted to replace this with a really dark color like black, I could create a black background. And so when I import that in, we get a much cleaner background background. When I paste this down, you'll see that we have a very nice clean relief and those roses have nice crisp edges. Now this is where we come back to the height map. We're going to import that height map as another relief. So we're just going to bring that height map that we generated earlier and we want to make it the same size. 0.25 F9 to center. We're going to go to merge low and we're going to paste that down. Now basically what that height map did was it brought in all the textures from our photograph and it merged it with our current raised up picture and it gave us this much better looking skull. Combining these two effects can give you some really realistic looking 3D relief models. This is how you can use ChatGPT to create CNC vectors and 3D relief design. Guys, if these tips are helping you, consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a like and a thumbs up and share this with someone. Let's keep making bit happen and I'll see you on the next one.